Hey everyone, it's Mangrel. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to do an update video on the temperature fix that we created for this graphics card. This is the Dell Alienware 3080. And a few months ago, we created a video on how you can fix the thermal throttling because this video card has um, a temperature issue. So we found that the memory goes to 110 degrees, is, which is where it'll start to thermal throttle and slow down. So we've been using that fix now for a few months and you can see right now with that fix, it is mining uh, Ethereum here. But in that video, a lot of you provided some feedback saying the proper way of doing this, or I guess maybe not the proper way, but a better way is to use thermal pad instead of thermal paste. So I went ahead and in the interest of my YouTube viewers and those people who provide the feedback, I'm going to redo that fix with this thermal pad here. This is the Extreme Odyssey thermal pad, 0.5 millimeter. I got this from Amazon. I'll give you a link in the video description. So we'll try it again and see, is it better? Is it worse? Were people right? Were people wrong? All right, let's get started. To keep this scientific, what we're gonna do is look at the temperatures before the thermal pads are installed. So right now, this is mining Ethereum using the thermal paste and we can see it's doing 97.57 mega hash. I've got it locked to 70% fan, 1100 core clock, and 950 megahertz overclock on the memory. And it took about five minutes, but it looks like it has stabilized. 50 degrees on the core, 96 degrees on the memory. So let's go ahead, shut this down. We will take it all apart and then make the swap. We have the card on the bench now. If you want to learn how to get this card out of your Alienware, the other video actually walks through how do you open the case, how do you get the card out, all that stuff's in the other video. And again, reminder, the link to that video is in the video description. So let's go ahead, take off the back plate. So very simple, just take off these screws. and then keep track of which screw goes where because they're they are And then this piece comes right off. Then we have two screws here.
there we go. So now what I want to do is I want to replace all this thermal paste here with the thermal pads. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this around, clean it all up, and then I'll be right back. All right, and it's all cleaned up. I use alcohol, Q-tips, paper towel, took about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and again, use the NTH1 thermal paste from Noctua for the GPU die, but I'm not going to use this for this part here. So let me go ahead and apply that. And some of you said I used too little last time, but that's not true because we saw a whole bunch came out the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the same amount as last time. And last time I made, oops, that was too much. Last time I made a little X, kind of like that. So I think that should be enough. Let me move this further in. It's too close to the edge. Okay. So that should be good for the GPU itself. Now let's go ahead and open up this guy. Okay. Okay, so this is all that we've got. I think that should be plenty. So let's line it up here, something like that. I'm just uh, lightly screwing these in and then I'll go around again in the X pattern and tighten them down.
And then a final piece is the back plate. So that goes right on top. Screws, so put the right screw in the right place. Screws like this are in these outer holes. And then screws like this are in one, two, three, four, five holes. Okay, let me go ahead and reinstall and then we'll see if this was worth it. Here's the end result. The memory temperature has dropped a little bit from 96 down to 92, but look at those core temperatures. Went from 50 up to 71. And I think it's because the thermal pad is too thick, so it's not letting the uh, GPU die make good contact with the cooler. Even though we got 0.5 millimeter, it's still too thick. So we went from 50 degrees up to 71, plus more power draw. So big disappointment, and it looks like using the thermal paste is the best way of doing this. No real surprise, I guess I was expecting this, but at the same time, so many of you suggested doing it this way that I had to give it a try. So I'm gonna go ahead now and do complete opposite, take everything all apart again, and go back to thermal paste. So something unexpected happened. I went ahead and I did the original modification once again. Only difference, I used a bit more thermal paste. And look at this, cores at 47, memory is between 88 and 90. So we're getting even better results using the thermal paste than the thermal pad. So it looks like the original idea and the original video still holds true.